That's pretty cool looking at the synthetic diamonds, the mm -hmm. real diamonds. It's like you can grow your own diamonds. Yeah. And they were talking about lab grown diamonds. I, know, I just want to know who was sitting there thinking, like, man, I could really grow some diamonds in a lab. Smart <laughs> man. Smart smart woman, smart hey, man. More you power know? too. I mean, you know, uh, to each their own, I guess. <laughs> All right. Here's a live look at Dublin right now. The current temperature down there, middle 60s, 64. How does that sound in Lawrence County right now? Dew points at 63, so the air is still pretty moist out there. And we're going to be looking at some fog in the morning hours. Hours. Take a look at this though. Over the past few minutes, we've seen some more rain develop on the eastern side of our area. Also looking at some more rain coming across the Alabama state line. This is going to be possible as we head through the overnight hours on and off showers across central Georgia. The thunderstorms though that you see here in south central Alabama, I think those are flying down to the, are flying down. They're going to be going down to the south of central Georgia. Not going to be an issue for us. We have racked up some rainfall today. Some areas received over an inch of rainfall, especially parts of Taylor County, also over into Houston County. In fact, in Perry, I know several customers lost power this afternoon thanks to the rain down there. Current temperatures across the area in the 60s still hanging on to the 70 in Milledgeville, Sandersville and Sparta. 62 now in Macon, 63 in Forsyth and 68 down in Vidalia. Across the southeast, notice some cooler air back here in two parts of Arkansas and Oklahoma. That will be in central Georgia before too long as soon as we get this front through here. So let's go through the overnight hours. Notice a bulk of the rain that we're going to see to the north is going to stay to the north of us. And then as we head into this is 2 a.m. and as we head into the morning rush tomorrow, some showers possible, especially out west. But I wouldn't be surprised to see a few sprinkles here in parts of central Georgia. Then as we head into Monday afternoon, what's left of the showers across the area will begin to diminish and we will be looking at a nice evening for Monday and really a nice extended period on into Tuesday. The only thing you're going to notice tomorrow is really the wind that we'll see across central Georgia. This is 7 a.m. So not gusting too high, but once we get into the afternoon hours, and this is when we begin to see wind gusts upwards of 20 to 30 miles an hour across the area. That'll be possible mainly Monday evening. Then as we head into Monday night, they begin to relax a bit down to about 10 to 15 miles an hour across central Georgia. So let's get into the middle parts of the week now. Here we go. This is Wednesday at 5 p.m. Notice some overcast skies as a weather disturbance travels to the north of us, looking at some showers up into Tennessee and North Carolina. But I think we stay dry here in central Georgia, and that includes through the weekend as well. There's Saturday at 5 p.m. So the only chance of rain over the next few days is going to be tomorrow morning, about a 40% chance of rain for us here in central Georgia. But not to worry, we'll be back to the 80s before you know it. High of 69 Tuesday afternoon, and then once we get into Thursday and Friday, high temperatures returning to the 80s here in central Georgia. Meanwhile, tonight, temperatures cooling down into the middle 60s. I do think we touched 61 before the night is over. On and off rain and maybe some fog when you wake up tomorrow morning. We were talking about those dew points a few minutes ago. The air is still rich with moisture, so we're going to be on the lookout for that. The winds will be light for the most part tonight. Then for tomorrow, that's when things begin to pick up in the wind department out of the northwest 10 to 15. Could see some gusts higher than that with those morning showers, but that'll be clearing for the afternoon hours. Here comes the seven day forecast 80s starting on Thursday and we're back into the middle 80s by next Sunday. Connor Hines is back with sports right after this.